welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Marvel Action Hour video. Today we're going to be checking out the brand new Diamond Select, Marvel's Select, Sue Storm, the Invisible Woman. And it comes as the final figure to complete their years-long Fantastic Four collection. But yes, front and center Invisible Woman collector's packaging to house all those wonderful accessories, but more on that in just a few. On the back side, you get to see nice photos, you get a little bit of a write-up explaining everything about Sue Storm. This figure was designed by Eamon O'Donoghue and sculpted by Mae Thamterana, and I think they did an overall great job, and I'm very happy to have this Sue Storm. Here's the barcode, I'll put a link down in the description below if you are interested in grabbing this figure for yourself. So, this is gonna be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Diamond Select Marvel's Select from the Fantastic Four, The Invisible Woman. So now here's everything taken out of the packaging and I'll save you some time. If you are looking for the complete package for an action figure form of Sue Storm, The Invisible Woman, look no further because this figure has everything you need and then some. But there are multiple hands. You have clear plastic hands and solid black gloved hands to symbolize going from transparent to solid. And you do get some forearms which are detachable that are going from her glove to then a transparent form. You can swip swap the hands. You also get a pair of transparent legs signifying the blue of her costume then becoming transparent as you get towards the foot. Single jointed knees and you get plenty of rotation in the feet up down left right and they just look good overall. I'll show you all that in just a few. You do get one heck of a telekinesis Sue Storm blockage effect. And I love that it's just a hand, it plugs in, there's no articulation to any of this, but it just works. That's a nice effect piece. And you get this clear plastic orb, which comes apart and you can simply just put one of the hands in there, have it grab on there and clip it back over her forearm and bingo bango, you've got one of her Invisible Woman orbs, <laughs> simple as that. The base though is of my favorites. You don't get a lot of power effects like this anymore in Diamond Select really has delivered. And overall, I just really love the look of it. It's clear plastic. It looks like the orb is starting to form around here. You have a stand, which is removable. You can plug it into her back, or if not, you can just plug her onto the pegs that are within the base. Now to look at Sue Storm herself, and I'll tell you, multiple Sue Storms over the years with action figures, she really can't catch a break. I'm happy to say this is a step in the right direction, but overall, not there just yet. The head portrait is beautifully sculpted. It's beautifully painted. All of it is there, and it is one of the most awesome Sue Storms that has been put into action figure form. I will honestly tell you that. But she has that thousand yard stare, and she kind of looks disinterested in what is happening. That would be my thoughts on the head portrait. Overall, the figure has a lot of pluses as opposed to negatives, right? She does have the hole on the back, so you can plug her into the stand if you desire. The head portrait itself will kind of sort of swivel. Her hair very much gets into the way, knocks right into her shoulders, and she really cannot look back, up, down. It's just kind of, yeah, there's her head portrait, so not a whole heck of a lot of movements in there. It doesn't, however, hinder the shoulders, the biceps, the single jointed elbows, and of course, the hands. So plenty of articulation there. Not much going forward in the abs, but going backward, sure, and she will kinda sorta rock to the sides. She does have a waist, it will turn. Mine was a little bit stuck. As always, if you wanna heat up your diamond selects, I do recommend it from time to time. The legs will kick out, she has thigh rotation, and she has single jointed knees, which will then spin as well. Plenty of rotation in the boot. Up, down, left, right, peg holes on the bottom. So for me, articulation wise, it's fine for what that is. When you pair her up with the other three figures, from Diamond Select for the Fantastic Four line are finally complete. And I would say that overall, yes, these all go together nicely. They're very much sculpted out pieces of art 
And I really like what Diamond Select has done here because now if you don't want the standard costume, you can have her going transparent. And that's where all those inner swappable appendages come from. And for that alone, that's why it elevates this Sue Storm. They didn't go crazy. It's just the right amount. Even with her little orb, I totally like that. You can even plug it onto the stand if you'd like, have her right in the middle, conjuring up her invisibility shields. And really, to get her going on the base with the shield in hand, having her other invisible hand conjuring the force field around her, that's cool. The hair does play into it, but like I said, the face portrait, the overall expression, leaves a little bit more to be desired, and that's where I feel like an extra head portrait would have gone a long way. That being said, the powers really do add to this figure in assisting the other Fantastic Four family members from attacks from, let's say, the Super Scrawl or Black Bolt Scrawl, whatever you want to call him, and in terms of other Marvel Select action figures, which are in that seven inch scale, the rest of the Fantastic Four will go great. With Spider-Man, the Silver Centurion Iron Man, and of course the new Captain America. Overall, I'm very happy with all these figures. It's not too crazy, but it's good for new collectors that don't want to get into Marvel Legends. But I will say this, this foursome right here looks awesome with the Marvel Legends HasLab Galactus. When you get all of these figures set up with their powers aplenty, and again, that's what I always stress with Marvel Legends is that they're lacking the powers. Diamond Selects really bring the power levels, and they're a lot of fun. So when you have an oversized character like Galactus, he's all battery activated, ready to go, and his eyes are glowing because he's mad. He's being attacked by the Fantastic Four. Hot dang, does that look good. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Diamond Select Marvel's Select Sue Storm the Invisible Woman. Overall, yes, it's been a long time coming. Going from Ben Grimm's The Thing to Johnny Storm's The Human Torch to then Mr. Fantastic and then Sue Storm. But the wait was definitely worth it. This is one of my favorite collections of Fantastic Four. I have a lot of them. I even have a video up talking about all the other Fantastic Four teams that I have. So this one would be the newest, but it is actually one of my favorites. So maybe I'll have to update that video. But you've heard my thoughts, and so now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything the Fantastic Four. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, when you're in trouble, call the four, the Fantastic Four. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.